Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Neo a step sequencer. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do follow the instruction contained in the video description. Thank you again. So we are inside the AUM, the for AUV3 compliant. We click on the plus sign, we create a MIDI channel. And as a MIDI processor, we are going to choose Neom. As you can see, this is the way that it looks like. So let's maximize the interface. Quite green, interesting, with a number of bars in the middle, which represent steps, as I will guide you through. Now, this is um, a MIDI processor, so it doesn't create any noise, any sound. So you click on play and it doesn't produce anything because it needs an audio source. So we create an audio channel and we choose something to generate sound with. So let's search for piano and we choose piano tech. We connect uh, at the two, so we ensure that the neon is um, a MIDI source into piano tech, like so. And then we go inside piano tech, really nice uh, um, and you'll be free. And we choose something like a classical guitar, why not a warm guitar? Okay, so let's open up neon and let's go through how it works, okay? So let's click play first of all. So what you see here is that the is playing, is moving from the left to the right and it is highlighting these steps which are the steps for the step sequencer. At the top you see a number of buttons which represent the different settings, the menus which you can access and then underneath each of the bars you have further settings which you can customize. So if I click and move here you can see it says CD and I'm keep moving up, drag and drop, practically drag up and then drop, or it's not really a drop, you're just moving it up and down the slider and you can change the note and of course you keep doing that and you create a melody. Right, so nice and simple, and it's nice in terms of how it works, and I like the color, and the and notes you can see when you go up the slider, it's in the name of the note is at the bottom, so nice touch. Okay, next you see this button underneath each of the steps and it says one pulse. Now if you click only, you see the number almost disappearing. The reason for it is because you need to click and hold. And then you have this menu and you can, as you hold, uh, you hold touch on all the uh, cursor of your, your, your mouse button really. And then you move up and down and you choose a different value. So it's quite nice. So let's say we choose two for this one, two pulses before it moves to the next steps. Let's say we go to this third step and we click and hold and we say four pulses. You see the counting here of the pulses, it goes from one, two, three, four, and here one, two. Okay, so pay attention. So you can create the for a, um, a different type of melody, you can give a little bit more, you start to give some rhythm really uh, to your melody. And this is where the next layer buttons come into play. At the moment here it says single gate mode. Click and hold again, that is the behavior by default. You can set it to rest and you get it, it will not play the step. Of course, what you can also do, you come here and instead of rest, we can go to multi. And in this case, it will repeat based on the number of pulses the note, in this case, four. You can also select hold, which in this case, it will hold the note for the duration of all the pulses. Okay, so this is um, basics really in terms of how the step sequencer works. Now you have a number of buttons at the top, you click on settings and you open this menu on the left hand side. So you can see it says root C, so you can change the root 
Okay, different value. Let's leave it to say for now. You can change the scale. So click on that and we go, for example, to minor. Really nice. Then the next thing you can do is octave. You can lower it up and down by octave. Minus one, for example. Next, we have order. At the moment, it says a linear, but if, for example, you can do pendulum, ping pong. So you can see moving left and then right. Or, for example, you can do random. And random is useful, of course, for um, a generative type of composition and melodies. But, of course, if you're not for that, you can leave it to linear, for example. And for that is easier to create a melody, particularly when you want to have more than one track. Next, you have reverse. You can set it to on and we play in reverse. Instead of being forward, it's like saying backwards, right? Reverse. Let's set it to off. So you can see it's playing forward and now from left to right. Division, this is where you set the division against your BPM and therefore you can say, for example, by alpha, it will be slower. And of course, click again, you can go even slower. So really decide yourself what, uh, what you need. Default is... Okay, perfect. Now let's actually remove the, the number of pulses, set this one to one, and this one to one again, and this one single again, and this one single again. Okay. You can reset the count. You can say that after, for example, four steps, you start again from the beginning. So we'll play the first, second, third, fourth, and then we we'll restart. And this is useful if you created a part of a melody and you want to have only that part being played. So that um, that's helpful. Let's set this to off. You can do swing, of course. So you can swing it a little bit. This makes more sense if it is going a little bit slower. pretty standard and then you have color so green but you can go to yellow orange red so different type of selection and of course channel at the moment is on channel one and therefore uh, if you look at piano tech here is receiving on all channel but if i was to say receive only on channel number two and i click play you don't hear anything anymore because neo is sending on channel number one but if i change that channel to number two you can see I changed it to channel number two and it's now playing because Piano Tech is actually receiving a channel number two. So that is how the setting view works. Now we have also modifiers one. You click on it, you can see at the bottom here it says add modifier. You click on add modifier, you have a new lines here. Uh, it says zero here, right? And if you have the settings option open, you can see this part here. If you have this disable, when you click here, on this symbol to expand you see the option here on top of uh, the screen but again if you have settings enabled you can see them here okay that's your choice now you can activate or not each modifier and you can set also a percentage okay of influence and um, in this case off for example where you can have it on and then what you do you just click here and just say one for example right and then what you do at the moment it says unassigned here as a type click on that and say we're going to go by octave so you go here and you change you say go up by an octave on this note on this one go below by one octave <laughs> At the moment, they move a different speed because this one has a division uh, divided one and this one divided two. So if we set these to divide two and we reset the beginning, 
they are in sync, right? The top and the bottom, the modifier is in sync with the movement of the steps. But if you have different pulses here in terms of duration per step, then you will see a different behavior because the part below move quicker when it reaches this step because it doesn't have to wait for two pulses as the step sequencer will do. You see, they start to get desynchronized between the top and the bottom. Okay, let's reset these two one. Of course, you can change the order, linear, sync, ping pong, etc., random. Advanced mode, you can go by pulse, note, you can do racket as well, stage, division. We talked about division. You can enable it or you can disable it as you prefer. And then you can also do stage max. So you actually, you can mask some modifier not to act. <laughs> So really depending on, uh, oops, I set this to ratchet, or I set it to pulses, okay. So you can mask practically the effect of that modifier. So pretty straightforward. Now, you have states here as well, click on states. Here you have different states. It's like recording a state of the sequencer, okay. And so this is state A, but you can click on B, which is empty at the moment. You can configure it as you like. All right, so click play. Go to state A. And here's where it becomes really interesting. Click on a state and hold and move up and let go where it says plus here. So you put state A here and you is configured to play for 16 steps. And here it says meter, meter sequencer. So if you turn it on, it will play that pattern. And that means you can drag and drop additional states. It will play state A and then state B. Also, you can decide to play less step, click on where it says 16, and you can decrease the number of step. For example, let's go to 8. Okay, so that's really useful. And then, of course, you have a section here for presets where you can save your preset as you go along. So that is really a quick tour of how Neom works. Of course, if you want to make music with Neo, uh, you need to then add additional sources, right? So, and um, let's say ISIM, like so. And then you add another version of uh, Neo, like so. And you connect that to ISIM, like so. Now you have two instances. <laughs> Interesting, the first one is playing two states, okay, and uh, the second one instead uh, is not, just the default. But again, you can configure it in different ways. So you can effectively have a, a sequencer, um, a different sequencer for each of the audio source sources playing. Of course, they are synchronized to the host tempo. And you can continue like that. You can add um, a drum machine. You can drive that machine if you like from Neo. You need to, of course, be careful about the octave and the notes, etc., etc. So you can create your own composition. You can create your own songs. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and this initial overview. And as always, see you next time. Thank you.